in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to make second position easy violin exercises. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with dedicated adult violinists who want to discover impeccable technique and play with gorgeous tone. In this video, I'll be giving you tips on second position, where to find and how to practice. Why is second position very important to learn as violinist? It makes specific keys a lot easier to play with less string crossings. So for example, C major, F major, B flat major keys are very second position friendly. <laughs> so second position is definitely not a position you want to neglect. Where we find second position, it actually lives a half step or a whole step above first position. So I'll go ahead and show you. This is where my first position thumb lives. And then when I go up into second position on the C natural, you see it's just a very small uh, shift up. It's a half step. Okay, so what's interesting about second position is that we have uh, our one can be on a C natural and our one can be on a C sharp. But how does that affect our thumb? When we're in second position, it's really important to think about your second finger as an anchor finger. So what I just said, I'll repeat again, because it's super important. Violinists that I've worked with have found this as a major breakthrough. Professional adult violinists. The secret to second position, if I may say, it's not necessarily a secret, but the biggest, biggest breakthrough tip I can give you for second position is to have your two as your anchor. So when we are playing in second, we find our two as where our third, our third finger lives in first position. Okay, so once you find your two and you have your one, you have your thumb and the place of where your two lines up, that's your anchor. So that's like your second position anchor. Okay, so that's our first exercise. The exercise I want to give you today is to find that two on every string. Okay, and feel really confident with that. Feel how you physically feel, visually see where that two is landing, and then take your hand away and land on that two directly. Okay, so those are the exercises for the second finger anchor to make sure your two is anchored. The other breakthrough tip for you for second position is actually the thumb lives in two different homes. For all the positions, our thumb has a home. First position, third position, fourth position, fifth position, you know, as we go up. Okay, so basically fifth position on up, the thumb doesn't change its home too much. But second position, our thumb actually has two homes. So I'll show you. Here is first position. Okay, so that's the first position home for the thumb. When we go into second position, if we're going up the half step to B flat, F, C, and G, the thumb moves here. So we have our, th our second position thumb home here. <laughs> So then we go off to B natural and what happens? The thumb moves up. So when our thumb is on B, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, the thumb is in relation to the one there as well, okay? So that would be our B major, F, major, F sharp major, and our C sharp major. Okay, so that's where our thumb would live when our one is placed on that higher place okay so it's not like our two is anchored and then we go from an f sharp to an f a low one for that f natural we actually have our thumb in two different homes so as you're studying second position make sure to keep that in mind that you know where your thumb lives another tip i have for you for getting to know second position really well is to understand your hand frame now this is something i talk about a lot and in every position, the importance of knowing that distance between the first and fourth finger. As we move up the instrument, the distances get smaller between our fingers because the intervals are getting smaller. So in second position, your study can be playing one to four and getting to know the hand 
frame. So that would be C to F, G to C, F to B flat, B flat to E flat. Okay, so that's a perfect fourth that you're playing. And as you play that, just feel really centered and balanced in your left hand and get to know that distance so you can get that really in tune. The next exercise is to play the four in relationship to the other fingers. So you can understand how that distance works between the fingers there. I would also highly suggest reading a lot of etudes, scales, exercises in second position. Violinists that I've worked with have, out of all the positions, have found second position is the most difficult reading-wise. And it could be just because it's just that one step higher than first position that it gets really kind of confusing. So the way to work around that is to practice etudes. I have a fabulous book on mastering second position two different volumes that works you through what I just showed you with the two different homes of the thumb. If you go through those two volumes, you will definitely be able to read second position fluently. <laughs> so master the position, volumes one and two for second position. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can also practice etudes. The etudes I would suggest are sit etudes in second position, and you can find those in the public domain. And also to practice perhaps Shradiak in second position, I would suggest that. And that's also, you can also find that in the public domain. That way you can actually visually see the notes and practice them and read them and get more and more fluent and quicker at reading second position. Now, as far as intonation and feeling physically comfortable in second position, I would highly suggest playing scales and arpeggios in second position. So I've written out uh, some scale books for second position. You can find the links in the description below. You can go ahead and work without a scale book if you don't want to read the notes, which is okay as long as you pair your studies with note reading. And in that case, I would suggest playing a B flat major scale and a B major scale, you know, two octaves across the instrument. And if you, if you get the master position uh, bundle, book bundle, I actually have all the second position scales written out on a study guide sheet. And that comes with a bundle in the second position bundle, which I'll leave in the description below as well. But that's something you could do in your practice is just practice your second position scales, visualize the note in your mind as you play the scales also arpeggios and that way you'll get more and more comfortable with playing in second position. Those are my tips for you for second position and making it easy with violin exercises. Happy practicing! Ciao!